Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and today again I have come with another amazing problem and another very amazing method. So here is the statement of this problem. A small particle of mass m is moving in a close trajectory in a potential energy ur as a function of distance r from the origin where this potential function is given as ur is equal to minus a by r to the power n where a and n are positive constants. What is the maximum value of n for which the motion of such a particle will be stable in its uh, in this potential field? So let's discuss the concept part of uh, this problem here. So we are going to use polar coordinate system in order to analyze the situation here. So you can see here in a closed random trajectory, I'm not calling it elliptical trajectory or uh, circular or some other closed trajectories. It's a general uh, trajectory here. And uh, with respect to the origin, uh, when this angle is uh, theta, you can see here this angle I'm taking as theta from the x-axis and its distance from the origin, distance of this particle from the origin, I'm taking it as uh, r. All right. Uh, so now in, uh, in this case, I can write here, this is the particle's location here. This is the particle's location here. So you can... Uh, see in this case so for radial distance r we can resolve its velocity vector into two components uh, one component is going to be this uh, in radial direction that is vr and another one is perpendicular to it that is going to be uh, v theta or simply i can say uh, this direction for me is going to be nothing but uh, r cap direction this direction is r cap and this direction is theta cap in many of my videos i have already discussed about r cap and theta cap so i hope it is uh, not a problem at all for anyone so now you can uh, i can write here this dr by dt is vr and this d theta by dt is the omega about uh, this line here omega about uh, omega of line joining origin and this particle so similarly i can write this v theta as r omega or r d theta by dt in polar coordinates so i'm going to use uh, these logics here another part is for uh, such type of potential function you can see it is uh, function of r is given so such type of fields are called as uh, central fields and in these cases because that force will be always pointing towards uh, the origin so its angular momentum is going to be conserved so angular momentum of this particle about origin i can simply write it as i omega or you can say mr square omega which is mr square d theta by dt and also energy of these systems uh, uh, this system is going to be conserved right uh, that is what we do in case of uh, gravitation problems uh, you would have done in your uh, 11th class so total energy of this system is going to convert uh, conserved so i am going to use uh, a method here where i am going to convert this standard form of kinetic energy into completely into r one part of that kinetic energy and i can modify the potential energy and i can write that as effective potential it's a very well standard method so you can see here k plus u is a constant so kinetic energy is going to be half m vr square plus v theta square plus ur that is going to be constant and uh, here i can write that uh, half m v r square v theta i can write as r is r r omega so it is going to be half m r square omega square plus u r is equal to constant now omega value i can substitute from the definition of this uh, angular momentum so it is going to be half m v r square plus half m r square times l by m r square whole square of it plus u r is equal to constant now I'll substitute the value of ur and you can see here 1 mr square and 1 mr square is going to get cancelled. I'm going to get half m vr square plus you will get this as l square by 2 mr square minus ur value I can substitute that is going to be a by r to the power n and this is going to be a constant. Now see this term carefully here. Uh, this L is a constant, 2M is also a constant. So it's like uh, another uh, function of R similar to potential energy. So I am combining this term uh, with this given potential energy. 
with the given potential energy and the total term i'm calling it as effective potential energy so this is somewhat like uh, what we have in uh, <coughs> shm cases also half mv square plus half kx square is equal to constant kind of situation we are going to get instead of that half kx square i'm having some other function of r so this is called as effective potential energy here and uh, by using this effective potential energy i can uh, uh, analyze the stability of this orbit in which this uh, particle is moving all right for stable equilibrium uh, we see the potential function uh, normally will be having a minima at equilibrium for stable equilibrium right around the equilibrium shape is somewhat like this and in case of shm it is going to be a parabolic function but we can have here any random function uh, random form also but near the equilibrium definitely this curve will be attaining a minima or you can say curve will be opening upward that is what i have written here for stable equilibrium effective potential energy should be minimum at equilibrium position so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write this i'm calling it as e so d by dr is going to be zero potential uh, uh, derivative is going to be zero and its double derivative should be positive for a minima so when i'm going to do dr a uh, d by dr i'm not explaining this calculation it's a very simple one you can check check for yourself this is a very simple calculation here so when i simplify it i am going to get this equilibrium position at which this potential energy derivative de by dr is going to be zero so that is somewhat like if force wise you can see this is nothing but net force to be zero okay slightly here it is different so i am going to get this r not as or r equilibrium as nam by l square to the power 1 by n minus 2 all right at this equilibrium position double derivative of effective potential energy should be positive for minima so now i'm going to calculate this double derivative here also very nice calculation will come so you need not worry about uh, these calculations at all very simple calculation will come when i differentiate this i am going to get this function when i take 1 by r to the power uh, 4 common i'll get 3l square by m minus n n plus 1 <clears throat> times a by r to the power n minus 2 now this r to the power n minus uh, 2 in fact i have replaced this n a by r to the power n minus 2 from here n a by r to the power n minus 2 that is going to be l square by m so that l square by m is i am going to substitute here this n plus 1 will be carried by this now if i take l square by m common you see how simply very easily i am going to get 3 minus n plus 1 so i am going to get at equilibrium double derivative double derivative of effective potential energy i am going to get as l square by m r not to the power 4 times 2 minus n and it should be positive this is going to be positive for n less than 2 so maximum value of n is going to be 2 this is going to be the answer for this problem i hope you have enjoyed uh, this problem this solution and you have learned something new in this uh, problem so if this is the case please leave a like share this problem with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it i'll be coming up 